everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this straight cable stitch. As you can see here in front of you now crochet cables are so much fun to work once you get the hang of them. Uh, they are really only front post stitches that are worked over top of one another in a pattern uh, to create these textured lines all the way through. A straight cable is a very easy cable to work so it's a great one if you're just starting out and learning the cable technique. We're going to work on it today. For the uh, cable stitch they're very versatile. You can work them at any point in a pattern and for this particular cable all the texture is on one side. So today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a little bit of cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Line brand and links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also down in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of the other crochet stitch tutorials that you'll find here. This channel is updated weekly and every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Now you can work for a straight cable pattern. You can work any number of stitches that you'd like for the pattern. Uh, it will really, really depend on how thick you want your cables to be. So I'm working a variety of thicknesses. I have one a cable here that's just one stitch, then two stitches, then three. Uh, then two, then one again. So really you can make them as thick as you want or as thin as you want. Uh, today for this particular pattern I used a multiple of 23 stitches plus one to make this little square. So I'm going to chain a total of 24 stitches. Once you've worked your desired number of chains plus one, you're going to work a couple of foundation rows. The first one you're going to work a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. And then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work a half double crochet into your first stitch. Your chain one at the beginning of the row does not count as a stitch. So half double crochet in that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to begin by working a half double crochet in each of the first three stitches. You're then going to work a front post triple stitch over the next stitch and into the stitch two rows below. So you want that stitch that is directly below the next stitch. You're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook in front of your, of your work, you insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through your final two loops. That's your front post triple stitch. Up in your previous row you're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So you're skipping that stitch that is in behind your front post treble. Half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're now going to work 
a front post triple stitch around the posts of each of the next two stitches two rows below. So again you're skipping these stitches in the previous row working around the posts of the stitches directly below them. Work one front post treble in the next stitch and one in the next. You're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Next, work a front post triple stitch around the posts of each of the next three stitches, two rows below. So down below, one, two, and three. half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Work one front post triple stitch around the post of each of the next two stitches, two rows, rows below. half double crochet in each of the next two stitches work a front post triple stitch around the post of the next stitch two rows below and you're going to finish off this row by working a half double crochet in each of the final three stitches That brings you to the end of row three. At the end of row three, chain one and turn your work. And you're simply going to work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And as far as the repeats are concerned, that is it. For the pattern, you repeat your row two, which is your half double crochet row, and your row three. When you work your row three repeats from here on end, I'll work a few, uh, a few stitches for you, you'll always be working your front post triple stitch around the post of the front post triple below. So when you work your repeat, you'll work your half double crochet in each of the first three stitches for your row, repeat of row three. And then you'll work a front post triple stitch around the post of the triple stitch, the front post triple, two rows below. So your front post stitches are always going to line up. Half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then once again, work your front post triple around the front post triple directly below it. This time we're working one around each of the next two stitches. It's one and two. And that's it. So that's how you work this straight cable stitch. Repeat your row two and your row three for as long as you would like, and then fasten off and weave in your ends. So thank you so much for joining me on this uh, quick tutorial on how to work a straight cable stitch. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you happen to make some straight cables, tag me on social media, and I'd love to come and admire it. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.